Hey y'all, welcome back to Sassy Gal Prepping. And today I am going to try making my own powdered creamer for my coffee. And I found a recipe with only three ingredients. And so I'm gonna show you that, it's right here behind me. I'm actually just doing it right now. I read the recipe, I got the ingredients. So here we go. Okay, so I need a half a cup of powdered sugar and I need one cup of powdered milk and I need one tablespoon of coconut oil and that needs to be melted. So um, I have all of these. I'm supposed to uh, mix these together and I will do that with a whisk, but I'm also going to actually um, sift it into the bowl just to see if I can get out some of these chunks to make it um, a little bit finer. And then once I get that all mixed up, I'm supposed to drizzle this over all of it and then mix it up again real good. I've tried so many of these and um, um, I don't know anymore. I just, uh, I don't want all of the extra junk that comes in it and I also don't want to pay a fortune for it. So, <sighs> all right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and make my first batch. I'm just gonna sift that in there. I'm gonna do the same thing with the milk. Woo, it's gonna fly everywhere. I found that using the whisk inside the strainer actually helps um, to break it down. So I went ahead and did that. Oh, that actually looks like it did a really good job of making this really fine. So I'm mixing this all up together real good. And like, it's just kinda going everywhere. <laughs> Look at that. Here's the part where I'm getting a little nervous. I'm going to drizzle this over there. Okay, this looks like powdered creamer. So let's try. Now, yes, I already have a little bit of creamer in my coffee because, you know, I ran out of coffee cream. So I decided to go ahead and make this. Now I like my coffee creamy. So I'm gonna add another one in there. We're gonna stir it up. So we're going to see how it all dissolves. Sometimes I make these and there's like little tiny chunks in it, which I do not see. I don't see any chunks in it. Well, it looks pretty good so far. All right, let's give it a taste. Well, all right, that actually tastes good. Oh yeah, that's gonna do. Just go figure three ingredients, powdered sugar, dry milk, and a little bit of coconut oil. Huh. This is how much the recipe made. Okay, you can see that here on the mason jar. And, um, We'll see how long that lasts, <laughs> especially as much creamer as I use in my coffee. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to keep that here. We're going to keep it um, in the uh, pantry in a cool, dry place and just, you know, we'll pull it out to use it in the morning. So this one gets a thumbs up and uh, you all give me a thumbs up too if you like this recipe. I've included it down below and I will also include uh, where it came from because I did find it online and it was somebody's blog. <laughs> so I will leave a link to that recipe. And there you have it. Um, I finally found one uh, that will do. Go figure, <laughs> just three ingredients. No hassle coffee creamer, there you have it. Y'all take care, stay sassy, and I will catch you in the next video. Hey y'all, just wanted to tag on this little bit of video here. So I did some math, okay? 
and I want because I wanted to see how much it was going to cost me to make my own powdered creamer. So with the ingredients that I just showed you, um, it was it cost me a total of one dollar and twenty two cents to make one and a half cups of powdered creamer. Okay, that equates to twenty four tablespoons per jar because it was uh, um, a cup and a half of powder in there. So that was 24 tablespoons per jar. That made it five cents a serving, okay? So then I looked at my Great Value brand of coffee creamer. That has 500 servings in that container. It cost $5.47. And when I did the math, it came out to one cent per serving. So I'm not really saving any money <laughs> by making my own creamer. I am making it without all the extra stuff in it, like any uh, carrageenan or any other preservatives. It's, it's just regular, you know, sugar and dry milk. And so it's, it's fresh, but I'm not really saving a whole lot of money there. It's still cheaper to get the Walmart brand. However, we're talking about pennies here, five cents a serving versus one cent a serving, five cents a serving to have something that is that is good for you and not full of chemicals. So um, take that with and do with it what you will. But I was a little disappointed. I wanted to be cheaper than the store because that was the whole point of doing this in the first place. There you have it. 